Welcome to the Crez Support Forum. In this video, we're going to learn how to get started quickly with scoring a game. First thing is create two teams. Click on the Teams tab, you'll see that we have the Cavs and the Lakers already in our system. If you want to create a new team, just look at our Creating Teams video. To create a game, hit Games, go to the bottom and hit New Game Stats. Change the time to 12 minute quarters, hit the Home Roster, Browse, and load the first team. Here you can see that we can change things such as starting five, or we can select players that are not dressed. Therefore, if you know a player is not playing, make sure that they are checked in the ND box. Next is game details. Here you can change things like time, put in officials. Lastly is play calls. If you would like to collect play calls, make sure that you have the right coach. Hit save and open game, and we will now go to the game stats screen. Click on the start button, the clock will start. You can also use the space bar to manage the time clock. We are using the point and click scoring interface. So to take a shot, click the court location and the player's number. If it's a made shot, click made. If there is an assist, click the player's number. Here you can see James made two point shot, Williams with an assist. If it's a missed shot, in the same manner as a made, click the court, click the player's number. Instead of hitting made, just click the player's number who got the rebound. Depending on who you click, Krez will recognize whether it's an offensive, defensive, or team rebound. If there's no assist on the play, then just continue until the next event. Inside point and click, you will see in the red that it does a good job of prompting you on what you're supposed to put next. If you click the violation turnover, click the player's number for the turnover, and you follow that by clicking the player who got the steal. It's not necessarily a steal after every violation turnover, so in the same manner as an assist, you don't need to put anything. Click the foul button, click the player who was fouled, and you can see that the clock will stop. For a free throw, click free throw in the player's number, and then click made or missed. If missed, follow that with the player who got the rebound, and you will also see that the clock starts. Save your game, go to File, Save. Click on the action button, you will see that you can insert media lines, eject players, change the game time, things of that nature. Do a timeout, double click in the full or half box. To change a foul type, select a foul in the game event log, and you can change the type of foul to offensive, player control, technical. You can insert, replace, or delete events as you go along. You will learn more about that when we get into actual scoring of a game. For more information, please visit our website at www.cresbasketball.com. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy using the Cres Complete Basketball System.